Okay, so you're upset at Wilde, which is good. I think the feeling for you now is just about trying to stay maintain a bit more kind of around here. So if we put a line down through there now where you are as you swing back. Back is good in both cases, okay? Nothing really wrong with how far you're going back. Okay, maybe a little bit shorter on that right hand one, which might give you the impression again that you're yeah, just shorter feels, yeah. and slower, but it's a bit of a slightly short swing, okay? But as you come back to the ball here now, you can see your head's moving back away from that green line here. Head going in that direction as your club is coming here, cause that hip and shoulder gets quite high, and the club now come away from the inside and just bail out way to the right. So coming back in, as you can see. Okay, way from underneath there. Head now you can see long way behind the golf ball. Tilted as well to the side as well. And as we said, when you come to the golf ball now, you can see that most of your left side of your face is visible, whereas this one here now you come through. More on top of it. For your head, just for the position of your neck and your your neck and your shoulders kind of look a bit more comfortable, whereas that looks like you're just on there. And as you go through even more so, that, I mean... Just looking at that sort of bit there inside your neck, there's like, oh, is it going to hurt if you're not careful? Whereas that one now, as you hinge it through, and it just comes around the end. Exactly, yes, yeah, it's a much more fluid swing, and that's why it feels you're not losing distance because you're more efficient with the swing. Yeah. But it looks like you've got like a really heavy earring on your right hand, like dragging you around there, they're like really way underneath there, and just, again, longevity is going to be tough with that. The other thing as well with the left elbow doing that and the head down here and you can't you can't go anywhere it's got to go somewhere but when this left shoulder as we said the feeling for you now from here is this sort of going around this way and not up so as you bring the club back down now it will go up 100 yeah. you you can't yeah, you good. can't do what i'm trying to get you to feel if that makes sense yeah. the feeling from you from the top of the back is your shoulder and sort of go from here and go down that way yeah. barely if you did that you'd have the ball through your left foot so you, you're going to get there and you're going to get the thing of this rather than yeah. that because that feeling of up here to get this shoulder to go down to the left is going to be here which yeah. is kind of where you want to be so the feeling of the move when you're trying to make is more a question we're looking at rather than so when you finish the swing in now your finish position is like one thing I've said in the past before that finish position there looks a lot more healthier in line your head compared to that just look at this difference in your sort of peak of your cap side of your head your neck just is under a lot of undue stress that you don't need okay your legs are going to be sliding that knee's going to be a little bit sort of slippy slidey out there it's just not as healthy a swing i think long term and as a result of that a it's going to send the ball out way to the right when you've got a bit of loft in your hand you get away with it to some extent you can square the club face up but it's not so bad but if we can get that path a bit more kind of that way as opposed to out here with the face when i flick it the last time because what will happen is the moment now you're losing to the right if you try and swing round to the left, we said to start of the lesson, to try and go left that green line and just slice them. And if then you start trying to do this with your hands and square the club face up, you go back to that hooky one again. And then you start playing golf the next sort of, in a month's time, you'll be doing these sort of quick hooks and you're going way left, way left, way left. And then you're like, I'm going for the right. And you get more and more underneath, as opposed to going, okay, well, there's my club face square. I'm back here, back to the golf ball that way. I'm not going to go. And trying to look yeah. on the top of it, yeah. Which is why sometimes in the summer you get some drives that go miles, it's almost like a drop, yeah. drop kick drive or top hill, and they do and just bounce and run. You get the right contours, and it's that amount of run, it's just much, but it's just a very risky way of playing. So the feeling from here now is that L position here that you're creating there to there is basically mirrored on that side. Whereas on this side, you've got a fairly decent backswing there. He's okay as you come through. Not really hinging the wrist to them, it's almost like falling back. Left arm's very high, so you can't, if your arm's up here, try and square the cliff face up. Your arm can't bend. If I just do that, oh look, my arm fell over. Uh, make sense? So today, I think, if you could discipline yourself to make swings. Yeah, if we could, like me now, so I want to try and do a full swing. Exactly. If we, if we call that 100%, this is. 75%-ish yeah. kind of swing. And if you actually watch the swing side by side, yeah. if we watch them side by side in full speed, and sort of match them up, so when they just go back over there, that club just going back there, and there you go, so that club's going back there. So we watch them side by side in full. That one finished first, didn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Okay. <laughs> but it's not slower. It's, not it's just the fin. And again, a more efficient strike is going to give you a better shot. Okay. So yeah. Okay. You might lose five ten yards, but I'd rather be five ten yards in the fairway, seventy five percent of the time than hitting it the longest in the trees. Okay, mate.